You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. Arsenal seem in the midst of a general squad overhaul, as Mikel Arteta reshapes his playing staff to suit his preferred style. Most positions seem to be under consideration, and goalkeeper is no exception. You see, great teams are built on great keepers, and while Bernd Leno is by no means a bad one, he's not consistently convincing either. Prone to the occasional rash charge out, and with a few shot-stopping glitches last season, Leno could be upgraded. Arsenal have also seen Matt Ryan return to Brighton and Hove Albion, while the other deputy keeper, runner Alex Runison, is expected to leave too. So Arsenal needs someone who can challenge Leno, either as an immediate replacement or a long-term heir to the gloves. Stylistically, Arsenal want to build from the back, so distribution is important. An Arsenal keeper should be confident with the ball at their feet, aggressive in patrolling their area, and a dominant personality. The Arsenal defence will be quite young, and while Kieran Tierney is a leader, having a strong vocal goalkeeper is of benefit. And of course, the fundamentals matter too. Regardless of how good a keeper is with their feet, shot-stopping and aerial ability both remain fundamental. Signing a goalkeeper who played last season at a relegated Premier League side might seem like an odd choice, but Alphonse Ariola excelled at Fulham. He won the fans' player of the season and, according to FBref.com, finished with the highest post-shot XG plus or minus per 90 in the league, plus 0.21. That's a per-game indicator of a keeper's ability to prevent goals and the best publicly available measure of shot-stopping ability. Now that means that every 90 minutes, Ariola was worth a fifth of a goal saved above expectations, making him the most valuable shot stopper in the league ahead of second place Emiliano Martinez and third place Alisson. He's slightly less aggressive outside his box than Leno, but he has a better rate of claiming crossing at 9.8% to 8.4%. Ariola's passing last season was impressive too. He completed 100% of his short passes and 98.8% of his medium passes. That means Ariola misplaced three passes of 475 up to 30 yards distance. Leno only misplaced three of 725 over the same distance, but that shows that Ariola's distribution is not a comparable weakness, although the Arsenal incumbent did see more of the ball in the same number of matches. Ariola is a calm presence and a physical one at 6 foot 5. He's had a strangely unimpressive career for someone once hailed as the future of French goalkeeping, with five seasons away on loan from parent club PSG, for whom he's made fewer than 100 appearances. Fulham had an option to buy, which indicates that PSG would entertain offers, especially now that Gianluigi Donnarumma has joined to challenge Keylor Navas. And at 27 years of age, Ariola deserves the chance to show that he has the tools to nail down a starting position at a top European club. And Arsenal could be a smart place to do that. Despite an injury hit last season, Justin Bailo will begin next season as Feyenoord's number one. The 23-year-old, who is the Netherlands under-21 keeper and who some felt should go to the Euros as their starting goalkeeper, is assured in possession, possesses excellent reflexes and would be a great stylistic fit for Arsenal. Belo is 6 foot 3 and athletic rather than physically imposing. His long and short distribution are excellent, with over 60% long pass accuracy. Why Scout's prevented goals per 90 metric, which is similar to post-shot expected goals, suggested that he prevented 0.24 goals per 90 last season, and he's also an accomplished taker of crosses. His save percentage last season was a good 77.4%. Springy and mobile, Bailo is good at making saves and then quickly repositioning himself. He's a proactive goalkeeper without being needlessly adventurous, and in terms of how Arteta wants to build up, he would be a very solid foundation without sacrificing any goalkeeping fundamentals. He could be fairly expensive though, especially as Feyenoord see him as a long-term key part of their side, meaning his roughly 8 million euro valuation is probably on the low side. But Dutch keepers have tended to adapt well to English football and his age and international experience at under-21 level suggest that Belo has a very bright future ahead of him. While the best young goalkeeper in the UEFA region is Krasnodar's Manat Sefanov, the second best is probably Fenerbahce's 23-year-old 6'5 Turkish international Olte Bayinde, 
who was the backup at this summer's Euro tournament. After a tough start at Ankaraguchu, where he conceded 12 in four games, Olte secured a high-profile move to Fenerbahce, where he has quickly impressed. Technically, he's quite an orthodox shot stopper with good positioning and a calm presence. He doesn't leap around prior to making saves, but he does make tiny adjustments with his feet and presents an imposing presence in one-on-ones. He has a great spring to get back up in position and has made a number of great double saves as a result. Fenerbahce's defence plays a high and at times disorganised line, and so he's regularly exposed to counter-attacks. While his judgement can be a little wayward in terms of coming out, Alte is still learning and behind a more organised defence, he would look less rash. His distribution is good without being exceptional, but where he stands out, aside from his shot stopping, is character. He's taken to the intense atmosphere of Turkish football brilliantly, despite a poor start, and is a vocal organising keeper despite his age. He would likely be expensive, and Turkish goalkeepers haven't tended to play much abroad either, despite having produced some exceptional talents in the last few decades. But aside from these caveats, Olte is without doubt one of the coming talents in the position. And if they did sign him, Arsenal could secure someone in that position for years to come. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalised experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.